take a look at these two pictures. What do you think? Which one of them was done by an artist and which one was generated from scratch by artificial intelligence? Well, if you guess the first one was done by a human or the second one, you're wrong. The author of both these pieces is an AI system. If you haven't heard of this sorcery-like technology yet, prepare to have your mind blown. It will change everything. The NFT market is no exception. If some say that the NFT market is already saturated, <laughs> things are about to get way more intense. Here are some numbers. In 2017, only around 100 NFT sales took place on a weekly basis. Now, if you check the market trackers, you can see how the numbers have increased. Since 2014, when the first NFT was minted, until the beginning of 2022, around $41 billion was spent on NFTs. Some experts forecast that the NFT market cap will reach $80 billion by 2025. That's almost enough for Elon to buy Twitter twice. Here's another example. A well-known yet anonymous digital artist, Pac, holds the crown of being the author of the most expensive NFT collection ever sold, the Merge NFT project. It was sold for $91.8 million. And this collection consists of over 312,000 NFTs. If each of them was a physical art piece, you would need nine louvres to exhibit them all. And that's only one collection. Currently, there are more than 80,000 other collections on the Ethereum blockchain, each of them consisting of thousands of works. Quite obviously, the number of NFTs is growing super fast. If this continues, we might reach a point where there's more NFTs in this world than there are leaves on the trees. The problem of market saturation arises. Imagine a street with a McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, KFC, Subway, Domino's, and Pizza Hut all next to each other. You wouldn't go and set up a hot dog stand on this street. One more thing. After taking a closer look, you can see how these NFT collections are very much alike. It's easy to see the reappearing details almost immediately. From the freshly landed moonbirds to bored apes and some less known obscure random ones. The pattern is obvious. And the process of creating them is no longer a secret. Picasso created around 13,500 paintings throughout his life. Today, it's possible to create more unique pieces in a few minutes. And that's only the beginning. The future is knocking at the door very loudly. Imagine this, a dolphin in an astronaut suit on Saturn. Could you draw it? Well, this new AI system could. Based on only this line of text, in a matter of seconds, it generates this image. Named after Wally and Salvador Dali, Dali 2 is the latest version of Text to Image Generator, developed by OpenAI. As for the company called OpenAI, it's pretty ironic that this tool is not yet publicly accessible. But some people got early access to it, and the results are so awesome, it's actually terrifying made of cookies in the clouds. Oh my God! DALI 2 is a neural network that can turn any text description, no matter how bonkers, into a unique image. Be it a work of art of any style, a photograph, or anything, basically. None of these images have ever existed before. It can also edit already existing photos and make every designer or illustrator fear for their job. This magic, uh, I mean AI system, was trained on a humongous data set that basically covers the entire 40,000 year long history of human art. That's why when you mention a particular style in this text input, Dali 2 understands precisely what you meant. If you spent years mastering a particular technique, this tool will outperform you in it in 10 seconds. Sad, but awesome. What makes this tool so ridiculously impressive is that this tool actually considers human aesthetic judgment when generating a new image. It understands that different, unrelated, and random objects should relate to each other. For example, the description, photo of an athlete cat explaining its latest scandal at a press conference, resulted in this image. The AI understood where to add the microphone, the jersey, and, uh, just generally how to portray the vibe of a scandal at a press conference. It uses a special neural network called CLIMP to apply human aesthetic judgment to produce just the right thing. But what if the language gets mm, complex? Could it understand abstract concepts? No problem. 
And what about sentences with multiple possible interpretations? Like, how would a robot hand drawing look like? It could mean a drawing of a robot hand. It could also mean a picture of a robot's hand drawing something. Well, here's the results. Just imagine what the famous surrealist would have created with a tool like this. Jésus, c'est du fromage. Okay, so what does this mean for the NFT market? Well, it probably will be over flooded with new works. People could generate a unique image collection based on every line from Harry Potter books. And they could do this again and again, each time creating a brand new collection. And they could do this with every book. <laughs> Not only books, <laughs> celebrity quotes, poetry, rap song lyrics. Everything's on the table. People could even use the AI to auto-generate text and then use that to generate text-based images. The whole NFT market could be surrounded with a cycle of unlimited creativity. The bottom line is this. There are already a lot of NFTs. Once this technology becomes available to the public, this number will only increase. And we'll see one of these two outcomes. First, NFTs will lose their value because of how many NFTs there will be and because of how easy it will get to create new ones. Second, we will witness and acknowledge the fact that NFT's value has nothing to do with how artistic they were. The importance of community, communication, originality, and the ability to create hype will be realized. Time is ticking, and the answer to this question is almost behind the corner. Are you excited or afraid of it? If you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. <laughs> we cover topics like this, and we always have more videos on the way.